fellow women here, Charles here. Would <clears throat> you please join me <clears throat> in the Pledge of Allegiance? Your hat, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I need a motion to approve the agenda as written. So all in favor? Aye. Right. Okay. We need to keep the minutes for the meeting. <coughs> From the last time? No, 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 no. Okay. Was there a first? Yeah. Oh. Well, any additions or subtractions? All those things will say aye. Aye. We will now move to the public hearings. Maybe. The first application is for George Smolinski. This is a variance request under sections, section, wow, sections 396-60A3 of the Adams County Shoreline Wetland Habitat Protection Ordinance and 40534E3 of the Adams County Comprehensive Ordinance to allow a reduced setback to the center of a town road on property located in part of government lots three and four, section six, town 14 north, range six east, lot 31, first addition to Del Prairie Bay at 3648 13th Drive in the town of Del Prairie. I did not receive any correspondence. I did receive Oh, um, the form from the town of Del Prairie at their June meeting. Uh, they did not object to the request to allow the construction of the garage closer. Uh, it's a low traveled road and other structures are essentially the same. A uh, little background here, you can see on my, you know, So this picture is from 2020 and you can see that there is already the existing foundation. I think it'd been there for many, many years. years. Yeah. Um, and then you purchased it at, yeah. yep. So then they purchased it with where that foundation already is existing. Oops, that's the lot. Um, there, oh, there. So it's, it's this foundation there. There. Where do you see that white? Yeah, so that was the existing foundation. Um, I don't know, was there a house on it or it just never got built? Okay. Uh, so then the, the Smolinski has purchased the property, uh, proceeded to build. Um, during that process, they added um, footings for a, a garage on the south side there. In one of the pictures. So they added the footing coming out right here. And that ended up being too close to the road. Um, they have proceeded with the house, which is perfectly fine, been getting inspected, whatnot. Um, and now it's they're at the point where they would like to um, finish the garage on top of the footings that they had started. And that's... Um, why they're here today. I don't know if they want to add anything to. Yeah, so it's kind of my fault uh, because my architect, how she designed it, I didn't have too much room to the left side to do a garage to make it work for the foundations over there. And I never considered the stairs because it's a by level. Sorry. I better do that too. <laughs> Sorry. Bob's reaching for him. And uh, because it's uh, half, it's a half basement and half sticking out. So I never considered 
um, with the stairs they're going to be in the garage to go up to the main level so i could fit a small vehicle in there but i can't fit a pickup truck so i added an extra four more feet and that's what got me stuck to consider for the stairs are going to go to the main level And when we did notify him that it was too close, he did not continue at all on that on that section. Um, but the rest is the house done now, or is it? Well, I'm waiting on the garage. I oh, okay. I can't, I can't really finish the roof or nothing. That's, That's right. Part of, part of the whole. Yep. So I rebuilt the main structure, but we stopped where the trusses are supposed to go for the garage That's right. to continue across. The town board approved this, right? Yep. They, if you look at, there's there three holes placed and other houses being built that way. Other houses, there's three houses. Yeah, right. Plus, if you look at the layout here, so that's Highway 13 on the back side of his property. Uh, that's the red line here. Yeah. But what we're going closer to is it's a just a little horseshoe road that comes in and out. It's 25 through there. And they felt it was a low traveled road, really. It's only the people that live on that road or utilize it. Um, and that's the portion that he's going closer to. I have a question. Is a, is a garage considered a primary structure? Because I don't see it a primary structure. Well, it's built. Now, they use that foundation. Yeah. That's that's what happened. So they, they start they took out the permits for the house and everything. We issued the permits. They started building. They poured that extra four foot of concrete. Rich went out there and said, um, that's a problem. So they, they stopped with the concrete there, but then they did continue the rest of the house, called in for inspections, whatnot. Now they're at a point where the house is half or three quarters built. And they need to incorporate this into that structure. It's a attached house. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, the only reason I brought that up was there was no mention I could see of a house in there. Right. It's all part of the same project, but yeah. Yeah. And this picture is three years old now, so. Any questions, Robert? No. Well, I. Yeah, I'd just like clarification on the four feet versus the 19 feet. What happened there? You know, there's two different measurements taking place, apparently, and significantly different numbers. Yeah, one is written there says actually 19 feet. He's having a good time. Where are you guys seeing it? It's written in red here. Oh. It's actually 19 feet too close. That was probably me after talking with you. I put it there. Hey, I see that. What is? How far is it from the center of the road? So from the center of the road now, it's 24 From the center of the road or from the edge of the road? Because I have 41 written down. Okay, so 20, it's like 26 feet from the edge of the road. From the center, it's 38, 39. No, we got so this, this is the actual number now. No. So 41 in the center of the road, and 11 feet to the road right away. And the required is 63. And um, 30. So that's how it ends up at 19 feet close. Um, the four feet, so whatever was there before on that foundation was done a long time ago, they went an additional four feet. It's not that they went four feet. Too close, it was like closer, yeah. yeah. So, really, the variance is for 19, and the town is aware of that. 
And that doesn't seem to be different from the other houses and garages that are in the neighborhood. Well, there's other houses. Are you even closer? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. If you go down, there's one, five houses down. down the there's one here. Yeah, and there's another and there's one. An Another one down. Oh, right. That one's even, yes. even closer. Yeah. yeah. The one yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Where my mouse is there. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then there's one all the way at the corner. By the corner. Right there. You see it right there. That one's even closer. Yeah. yeah. And that was, and, and the town took that into consideration as well. Right. What is uh, the entrance to your garage going to be? <coughs> Sixteen foot, facing the face, facing towards towards the road. It's not coming off the road. Uh, in that night, in that setback you got that one foot, the doors aren't going to be there. They're going to be the other side. No, it's going to be from the base of it, from the front of it. Like the other two. Yeah, like the other two. Yep, it would be. Facing towards the south side. Yeah, it, this is the garage door. Yes, the garage door. Yeah, so they're coming on the driveway right in. Okay. I wish we'd have a few pictures of some of our houses. <clears throat> well, I mean, they are on here. Um, the closer ones that we were talking about are at the other end of that 13th. You can see those are both garages there that are yeah, that one's facing, a lot closer. Yeah, that one's facing actually this way, that one right there, but the other one's facing towards the road. And then a little closer to them. Where was that other one? And that road you're talking about, that's just an access road. Yeah, it's, it's really only for that subdivision, or that's what it's there for. You can kind of see how it just loops in, just loops in and right back out. Are there any negatives from the neighbors? I got nothing from anybody okay. other than the town. Okay. Say, I mean, that town was in favor of it, but. The only thing I would be concerned about is <coughs> parking cars on that driveway. Well, I was going to, because there's going to be a front porch. I was actually going to for the whole thing to be a whole driveway, too. So the garage would be intended just to store cars, one more, basically, but people could park farther in. On the other side of the garage, where the main where, where is your parking be, uh, be built. Yeah, uh, farther in. So where the garage is going to be built. So to the left of it, there's a porch. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that whole empty yeah. spot right there. Yeah. I think so, you can see it on your. Yeah. On this, it's going to be this whole area. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be all. Oh, okay. It's all yeah. going to be yeah. all open. Yeah, like this. Right I was going to show you this one here. That area. Would all be about where that car is because the garage will go over here. And you can see that little bump out? That's the porch that he's talking about, and then the rest of this would be kind of so there would be a truck in there. Yeah. Okay, so then we've got a little bit of trees that we can extend the area. I would move to approve, Robert. Second that. I would move to approve. I'll second that. Motion to move to approve. We need a second. Linda did. Yeah. Linda seconded it. Right. Linda did. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. All right. Motion to move in second. All those in favor of that? All right. Motion carried. All right. The next application. Um, is getting postponed until next month. We published on the wrong property. Um, the owner gave us the wrong information, so we have to republish and start over for next month. Okay. And you guys are gonna get your money's worth next month. Seven. We have seven of them. No, I... I went out there yesterday. Um, we shouldn't talk about it, but I went out there yesterday. I I don't think you're going to gain anything by doing a site visit. Okay. Um, 
but yeah, uh, there are seven applications for next month. Lunch or? Might have to. Um, I don't think anything super major, but okay. So August second. Just the way it happened, August second. Need y'all four here, so. We'll, <laughs> we'll we'll average that out next month. So. That's it. You wanna? What township is this? That boosts us up to yeah. <laughs> you missed all that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think we're done. Cards, uh, we'll send you the paperwork, but I've got. Your I think we're done if you want to adjourn. Yeah, I'm going to close the public hearings and you will know, the uh, circumstances of the following. Yep. Uh, do we have any correspondence? Nope. Okay. Next meeting. August 2nd, same time, same place. And Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope not. Yeah. Hey, we're good. Are you sending out for coffee? Yeah. I would move to adjourn. Okay. Bob? Second. Moves to, okay. Nope. We have a motion to adjourn. Second. Got it. All in favor? Aye. Got it. Aye. Thank you for your time.